come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a podcast that reviews movies, or we watch movies, we talk about movies. We come at you every Saturday, whether you like it or not, in our quest for complete and total world domination. Who are these internet radio superstars? Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin, and we watch a movie that's chosen round robin by one of the aforementioned superstars. So tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by Michaela. Michaela, what did you do to us tonight? <laughs> we watched Mac and Me. From the year 1988. And directed by Stuart Raffle. Who we know from. Uh, actually, guys, we have not seen the last of Stuart Raffle. He has. Oh. I found out two other of his movies are on my list, so he might make the wall. Uh, are you familiar with the movie called The Philadelphia Experiment? Yeah. He directed that. What's oh, that no. About? Uh, Passenger 57. He also oh, directed that. Really? Did oh, he really? Bring um, Passenger 57. That's not on my list. The two that are on my list are Tammy and the T Rex. You ever seen that with nope. Denise Richards? No. no. The one where her boyfriend but dies and they put her boyfriend's brain into a T-Rex. Oh the, my god. I've seen the trailer for we it. We talked about yeah, this before. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He directed that. trailer that. looks insane. Oh yep. my god. Yep. Okay. And uh, Mannequin 2 on the move. He also <gasps> oh, directed Shut right. up. I'm down for Passenger 57. Wow. That's going 57 on my list. feels like the anomaly in this uh, right. filmography. One good movie. Yeah. 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 Wow. He's all over the place, man. <laughs> yeah. all he is all over the place. place. I guess wow. so. Mm-hmm. Well, who 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 would who would give him more opportunity after this? Movie? Is this his first movie? No, no, no. But it should have been his last. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see, I don't see how this it was. This is like the middle of his career. Weirdly enough, yeah. what are you talking about? Couldn't see how this sweet, charming, innocent, wholesome McDonald's sponsored by e. Coca Cola sponsored Spielberg wannabe <clears throat> epic motion picture epic. Mac and me. <laughs> Okay, and Epic Spielberg might really be. had a case with this movie, didn't he? He Did could have really. I think he could have sued for a lot of money with. This oh movie. yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If I was a producer, like even if I was an associate producer on fucking uh, ET, I'd been like, I'm gonna sue. <laughs> it's funny you say that because they showed the work print to Kathleen Kennedy, who was his producer at the time, and she signed off saying it's cool, we won't sue. She's uh, probably, she probably felt sorry for him. President of Lucas Films <laughs> currently in this year of 2019 saw this movie and said, "Yeah, we won't sue you." Wow. She's like, "Oh, that's." She's like, cute. "Yeah, this is gonna make no money. That's fine." <laughs> she was like, that's "You tried. That's adorable. Yeah, that's like, adorable. That's really take sweet. Your Good movie luck, you and, guys. Uh, <laughs> you can do what you want with it. You guys are cute." Yeah. And this was put out by Orion Films, right? Mm-hmm. I saw that at the beginning. And you wonder why they went bankrupt. So yeah. it's a, well, it's a legitimate oh. uh, motion picture. It's an expensive I, movie. Or at least what I consider to be cost? thirteen million dollars. Like yeah, it's for nineteen eighty eight. That's yeah. yeah, that's an expensive movie. Yeah, nineteen eighty eight. It's all those animatronics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, right, I guess we got to talk about the fact that... Whatever mimes they had to hire to teach those adult aliens. Well, being that it's an alien kind of movie, there are aliens in this movie, so this is back in the 80s when people would, like, actually sculpt uh, foam rubber creatures. Mm. Uh, Do we catch who the, uh, who's responsible for the alien, the creature design in this? I didn't catch more of the the credits. Uh, I I I mean, we saw the actors, but... Yeah, which was no one of note that like mm-hmm. no names jumped out for the the people in the suits. Who's just saying? You, you I said there was Martin Becker. Becker. There was a yeah. Martin Becker who did some Wait, of the Becker. Anim- or Becker. Uh, Becker. Who? Um, <laughs> you think about something, Sean? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think he was the designer. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, okay, so there is like a there's an overlap here. I think with uh, most obviously E. T. Right? Oh yeah, this is a straight up rip off. Of what? E. Yeah, but the the design of the mo- the, the the creature. I feel like you they call t- it a monster. <laughs> the monster. It's a monster. <laughs> monster. They're pretty monstrous. It's a monster. I think they took everything about ET and did the I'm opposite. Scared. Like they just inverted ET, right? Because ET kind of is kind of smaller, wide set eyes. So they did gigantic close eyes, and like ET's shorter. So like his aliens are really tall. Like I feel like they were just like do the opposite so the we can't get look sued. Very similar yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did look kind of have that the, same. The long fingers. Yeah, like yeah. some similarities. There's some similarities. With them, you know, except for the fucking the color, asshole mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, well they're, the they're mouth that doesn't face. move. No, there was some. It uh, it yeah, suckles. but it's always it's like a this. hole. The, the entire movie, it suckles. It's always yeah. a circular hole. It's a sphincter. They're in they a, a sphincter yeah. on their they're face. They're in a yeah. perennial because they're perennially uh, whistling. 
Yes. Whistling right. or sucking R2-D2 puckered, whistling, or sucking yeah. on coke. They're yeah. either blowing in or suck, blowing straw, out or it's sucking It's a straw in. hole. They're yeah. blowing or sucking is what yeah. <laughs> They're blowing or sucking right. <laughs> throughout the entire movie. That's Actually, okay. Sean, I got a movie for you. You want to see the sphincter Speaking mouth? Speaking of blowing or sucking, I've got a movie for <laughs> Boy, you. Boy, do I have a thing that you should watch. Colin yeah. just said, you want to see the sphincter the, mouth? The sphincter mouth is, uh, you ever seen uh, Naked Lunch? The, uh, oh, no, Dave I have Yes. Oh, there is a sphincter mouth. I forgot about that. Yeah. That movie's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't watch it sober. Don't watch <laughs> weird Cronenberg movie. No. Uh-huh. No. Mm-hmm. But like it's. But like, didn't Jamie Heineman from MythBusters do a lot of the practical effects on that movie? I. Oh, so it was my it. understanding. It was like one of his earliest credits. Was, Actually, um, there's like creatures in that too, isn't there? Like some kind of green thing that like excretes something out of its mm-hmm. head. Uh, I always like, think about the typewriter bug thing. Yeah, like but that's the, the one that yeah. has the sphincter mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I never yeah. knew Naked, Naked Lunch had Lunch creatures in it. Naked Lunch is worth watching. Oh, yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah. 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 It's all a drug. It's a William pays. S. Burroughs mo- story. So. Yeah. Unadaptable, they said, until David Cronenberg got yep. a crack at it. Uh-huh. And said, sure. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if anyone can, yeah. And as uh, The Simpsons uh, rightly said, uh, I can think of two things wrong with that title no, no nudity, no lunch. Oh, wow. It's a low hanging joke. Monsters <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Mac and Me, classic tale of a boy and his alien buddy. Mm. Um, so, that we've, well, we first meet these creatures on the planet Mars. Correct. No, it's not. It's the, Mars. It is according to the movie. I know it, it has rings, so dumb. it makes no sense. <laughs> Mars. But. It's a moon on fucking Saturn. <laughs> Mars. Well, apparently, when you're on Mars, uh, Saturn Saturn's takes right up there. most of the sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> insane. <laughs> that's yeah, absolutely Mars. insane. Because that's what I was wondering. I'm like, where are we here? Like, in what, you know, part of the galaxy? And Do they say Mars? At the end, of- at the credits say Mars mother, Mars sister. That's like yeah. wh- how the aliens are labeled. Oh yeah. fuck them! Yeah. Plus That's- the well, the the aliens are a family unit who hang around on the surface of Mars mm-hmm. and uh, stab. They have straws that they run around so you know they suck it dry. <laughs> But they just go poking <laughs> holes in the dirt and sucking up the hidden water on Mars, which is hidden like about an inch below the surface. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You didn't know this? No further. I mean, that's why we sent the lander, which shows up in this movie mm-hmm. landing on Mars. Mm-hmm. And, and then where it sucks the aliens up. Now you're a lot, a lot of, of sucking. sucking. <laughs> a lot of sucking. <laughs> I don't Boy, know this can, movie sucks. I don't, I don't know if I can do this again. <laughs> oh, no, we got another hour where we are going to do this oh my God. through no far, fault of our <laughs> fault of our own. <laughs> this movie broke us so much. Sean and I both just said there's a lot of sucking lot at of the sucking. same time. A lot of sucking. I was oh. just flabbergasted right off the the bat. The uh, how the the aliens all get sucked into. I mean, it's a Very it's stretchy. a it's a you know one a NASA lander. And somehow it sucks four alien creatures into it. How does it do this, Holly? But what? Short circuit. It has like the hose thing that yeah. sucks up the rocks. It's, it's just like, yeah. a, and they same touch kind, it. Yeah, same yeah. concept of like a vacuum, but it's yeah. a lot of vacuum play in this but movie. A lot of vacuum play. See, a lot of, I, I still, a lot yeah. of sucking. Yeah. But the folks at home, I don't think, are seeing this in their mind, like how you get four full grown aliens. They're taking, they turn into yeah. like. You ever seen a cartoon stretch get sucked stretch up in a cartoon? Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you remember? Do you remember out. in? Uh, do you remember in the movie Casper when Bill Pullman sucks the ghosts into the vacuum? That's <laughs> oh, what happens. That That's what happens. This is the first like five minutes of the movie. Yep. Yeah. 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 We're right in with the aliens. And then the lander right takes off and heads back to Earth, and then strands these poor people, poor people, poor things, uh, on the planet Earth. Yep. Of the 1980s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Lander lands the in the worst space station. Planet they Earth. escape. <laughs> Do they? It's chaos. Yeah, well, they do. There's, they have a nice, like, uh, I like these 80s, uh, la- you know, like uh, space lab uh, things that they all have, where you always have the guys in the military brass and the lab coats mm. are all standing behind the big plate glass windows looking down on the... Like, do they do that so much it's anymore? Like, yeah, it's like, and it's, it's always really high drama. Like, yeah, the stakes yeah, yeah. are really high all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh, things then start exploding and spraying, you know, smoke all over the place and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, these alien creatures come out. 
I saw it last in like Independence Day. I was going to say it was Independence Day. Yeah, or the yeah. Species movies. Or, it's got to yeah. be. Or Stargate. If I went to a, a real secret lab, I would be disappointed if I, I know. didn't have a room where I could I know. view shit. If you went to an actual secret lab, you'd be so disappointed. So <laughs> disappointed. It would be so boring. Probably. Wait, how does Holly know this? I can't say. Uh, there it is. <laughs> have you all never been to like a like a surgery where you could watch from the auditorium? Like the whole? In the audience? Oh, yeah. What yeah, the, yeah, I watched a exist. knee replacement surgery. It was fucking nasty, man. Oh, just for the hell of it. Yeah, I want to go. At a local hospital here in town. When I was in a Shit. AP bio class, we took like a field trip there, and they have like, yeah, they have like an auditorium where it's like a glass, like you're saying, like Colin, like a glass thing where you can look down in and watch someone have a surgery, and it was disgusting. Wow. Yeah, knee replacements are uh, yeah, really rough on your body. That's how the junior <laughs> mates they, got hammer. into the body cavity. Exactly, yeah. Because yep. they were in the audience. <laughs> yep. That's a thing. Yep, yeah. They, uh, they the really do some That's why they put glass there, I imagine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep the junior mints. Yeah, keep the junior mints out. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We can well, thank Kramer for that. <laughs> it's not too long after these aliens get... Uh, out and turn into what you call what was that the uh, the you know those toys? stretch Armstrong stretch Armstrong no but was that what they were the ones gack? That you'd, yeah I said they, gack. Oh, gack. splat on the wall yeah. and yeah gack. yeah they kind yeah. of stick and then they kind of slowly fall those off those like it's rubbery kinda... ones that fall down and they're ruined yeah. when they get covered in lint yeah, yeah. You can't ever play with them again they're like well, twenty five cents I was like a flum. Store. yeah I was a flom kid <laughs> <laughs> flom really oh, oh, Mr Rich over here with his flom <laughs> 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 yeah that's right that I was a simple gack child. I, I yeah, no, I had Gak. Yeah. I never had Flom. I mean, I had Gak. I had both. <laughs> oh, you had both. Wow. Well, it was yeah. a special I Christmas at the Tyler Flom. house. Jeez. There you go. I also had moon shoes. <laughs> Fuck all of you. You had moon shoes? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, Fuck you. Richie <laughs> Rich over yeah, here. Right. Jesus Christ. I know. Did you they just buy you every single was advertised on Nickelodeon? They did. They God. Did they skip it, too? I did. Oh, I had to skip it. Yeah. Skip it. This explains so much. Mine was purple. You ever hit your own ankles with skip it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I use it like three times. <laughs> really? Oh, because it looks so much time. easier in the commercials than it actually is to do in real life. Oh, I rocked mine. It was awesome. So in this movie... <laughs> Colin, what did you have? Rocks as a child? <laughs> Rocks. Colin, yeah. Colin Skip, it was a rock on a rope. <laughs> I had cool things like G.I. Joe's and He-Man. I, well, I had those too. Colin's like, I had part of it. I had game. those too, yeah. But I straightened it. Well, I was lucky enough that I uh, missed uh, Mac and Me upon its original release. <laughs> Colin would push a hoop with a stick down the rope. Like, yeah. <laughs> Are you nostalgic for Kick the Can? And it used to be so much fun. Oh, the, yeah. the Hudsucker Proxy is like the biggest movie of your childhood, right? Yeah. Uh, he's like, no, it was, uh, Tom's like, you know, it was for kids. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, alien. The alien gets loose and ends up in a, uh, a suburban, you know, Sacramento. Yeah, mm-hmm. where where yes. actually, yeah, because I'm like, how did the geography of this thing work? The kid and his mom and brother are coming from Chicago, the alien mm-hmm. land of mm-hmm. Illinois, where uh, which apparently, yeah is apparently completely foreign to people in California. Yeah, yeah, and even to these two kids, different things. When they're on the freeway, they're like, look at so many cars. It's so it's so pretty. Like wh- you, you come, come from, from Chicago. Chicago, but all right. An alien <laughs> Maybe they're one of those people that they say Chicago, but they really mean like Juliet. You know what though? You know, Probably. you know what though? I've been to Sacramento. It's the Illinois of California. Is it? It yeah. is. It fucking so they're is. They're throwing stones in a big ass glass yeah. house, huh? <laughs> it's it. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> it's a. It looks like a big uh, Mars-like desert wasteland. No, it's not. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they end up uh, the the creature. Stows away on board their conversion van. It's not. It's like it's a. It's a future. It's a Volkswagen. It's, a, it's van. just like a family Volkswagen van, a full size family van. Blinds. Yeah. In. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, because you know, you don't really, you're not really rocking a van until you've got until the blinds. Blind yeah, it makes it feel like home. Blinds. And then the van is rocking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's when you pull the oh, blinds shut. Pick it up what you're laying down. That's when you pull the blinds shut. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's what they're for. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and then stows, and then you end up in Spielbergia. Spielberbia? Yeah. Spielberbia. Uh, Spiel, well, let's say Spielberbia. Spielberbia, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks very much like uh, your standard Spielberg issue suburban tract. California tract community. Yeah. All right. So, what distinguishes this movie from? I mean, how come it doesn't feel like a Spielberg movie? Does it feel like a Spielberg movie? No. no. Why not? Feels like a movie ripping off a Spielberg movie. Uh, yes. 
because th- their acting is really bad. Like, th- no offense to the lead kid, he's not an actor. They cast no, some, they he's cast got, someone yeah, that was in a wheelchair because they wanted a legitimate handicapped person. Which good for them. That is an admirable goal to sure. have. But I have to yeah. imagine there are handicapped actors. I just, I have. He cannot emote. I just, I have questions. I have questions. They were determined. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They were determined to have a movie featuring a handicapped child being best friends with an alien. That was their goal. Mm -hmm. Why was that their fucking goal? Not that, you know, we can't have a movie with the lead being handicapped. That's perfectly fine. But why was that the goal? Because I think they had to distinguish themselves from E.T. enough. I I think it would be because they like a lot of the defense of this movie when they're like, oh, it's not an E.T. ripoff. They're like, well, Mac has a family. E.T. doesn't have a family. So they're literally taking any tiny difference they have. Eric has a wheelchair. Elliot didn't have a wheelchair. (laughs) (laughs) Got a family. Run, yeah, E.T.'s E.T. got a family, family he's trying to get back to. Yeah, but like the whole have... family's on the planet in this one. Well, that's like true. the whole they family's present. With. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean the kid's situation is almost identically identical to Elliot, it mm-hmm. felt like. He's got, you know, Dad's uh, gone. dad. Mom's hard working. She's right. gone all the time. In California Hills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have big house. Just moved in. Well, yeah. I don't think. Uh, hey, I don't think now, they now Eric has a brother. Elliot had a sister. Okay. Elliot had a brother too. Michael. Who's Michael in this movie? <laughs> yeah. Only that's why I was like the next door neighbor kid is Gertie. Girl is Gertie. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she's the younger. I'm like, huh. Yeah. In this movie, she's just racially it's insensitive. <laughs> Who was it? Gertie? <laughs> the next door neighbor. Oh, because she's out. When we first meet her, she's uh, communing with the spirits. As, she's in uh, a teepee. Yeah. She has a chameleon yeah. and on her head dress, a chameleon on her head. On her braid. There's yeah. a crow on top of her teepee. I think it was a parrot. Was it? Yeah. yeah. It's a whole thing. It's, it's like, you remember that part in Short Circuit we go to Ali Sheedy's house and the animals are climbing all over the place? Yeah. yeah. It's like that condensed down to a teepee. Exactly. It's that, but more racist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she's uh, communing with the spirits. She has she's an older sister training. who, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. was that what, I, I didn't get that like at all. I don't know. Because what the, they drop because, it immediately yeah. after yeah, that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's just gone. like, why is she doing this? Yeah. And then that's kids are, forgotten kids about it. It's so they can have that stupid line that the brother says, welcome to to California, yeah, it's that it's supposed why. to be like Ugh, California's, California's full weird. of hippies and yeah. weirdos, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what they were going for. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's spot on. It's uh yeah. And uh, the uh, the the way that we get our little creature moving around is a combination of I think a rod puppet, uh, a, rod puppet. a person in a suit, mm-hmm. a puppet for at least the legs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, was there more? I mean, it seemed like. And then there's there's scenes where you sit there. Like I think when this thing like first escapes from the lab and ends up on the highway, big you know thing where the monster ends up kind of glued to the uh, and like flattened, flattened yeah, flattened smashed, to the yeah. front of uh, you know like windshield Gek. of a well, exactly <laughs> like flum <laughs> and. It's driving down the road, and you know you see the stunt or whatever it was the driver swerving and the uh, creatures on it, and I'm like sitting there. I mean, this is you know fairly early in the movie, and I'm like, did anyone ever expect like that was okay? You know, for the That's people passable. who made this movie, yeah. yeah, that was passable. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm sitting there going like, wow. You thought that was uh, gonna fly? With, with I think folks. they just think it's a kids' movie. Who gives a fuck? I think they're just like kids will watch anything. Who cares? I think well, that's the philosophy uh, of this movie. Also, as we learned from watching five minutes of the interview with the director, uh, they were just writing the script as they went along and winging it. Yeah. yeah. Exact quote. We were just winging it. Pages they, were written on the day. On the yeah. day. They had, they had the entire cast and crew. They, but they didn't have a script. They shoot a movie, but no <laughs> script. <laughs> How does this work? I See, I don't believe that at all. Yeah, yeah. that's what he was because saying. That's what he said. Yeah, because yeah, they had, I mean, they maybe started shooting and they're like, all right, the alien should look like this. And they had to put something together real quick. Mm-hmm. Well, I imagine it's one of those things where you uh, you have a script and then you go in and then your budget gets cut and you can't do what you wanted right. and then you at least know you have aliens in this movie. Yeah, and it rains yeah. or something on your outdoor day, so you have to <laughs> do an indoor day and then you got to move an outdoor scene into an indoor right. or Sight whatever beat. the hell. Yeah, or your alien breaks down and you're like, you know, it's that kind of shit, right? So it's not like they didn't have a script or know what was well, going he's on. Well, he said they had the framework, but they didn't have the script. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had an outline. Yeah. yeah. They knew they Some wanted that. Points. They knew they wanted that handicapped kid and an alien. Was this like during the age of like a writer's strike or something? Or I don't know. I, I don't know, know because the director, around. the way the director made it sound when we were watching the thing was that there was a director before him that quit or left the project. So he was like inheriting this like half started thing. Yeah, mm. kind of felt like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Somebody left somewhere. Somebody yeah. was like something fell apart. Somebody was like. 
No. <laughs> no. Somebody saw the alien and was like, no. What are you talking sure about? He's as cute as a button. He's not. Beige is not a cute he's, color. Okay, maybe, you know, he's maybe like, him gets a pass. The rest of his family is fucking what creepy. He's like, he's I like have a, nightmares about the... The dad? The gangly... Oh my god, uh, the dad's imitating the dad's fuck. walking movements That's, right now. Uh, it looks you, like he's if you woke a up very with skinny, that thing walking towards you... Person. You would die screaming. A sleep, that's a sleep paralysis monster, right? Ugh. Like that's what people see when they have sleep that's, paralysis. You know what was <laughs> missing from this was uh, at some kneecaps. point. No, we had kneecaps. The, uh, <laughs> the alien, one of them needed to get like bopped on the head, and their giant wee, wee, eyes wee, wee, needed wee. to go. <laughs> their, Google, their googly eyes, yeah. yeah. The googly eyes. With, a, with a fucking bird tweeting in the background. Yeah. 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 Because those are the kind R2 of D2. eyes. Yeah, they're too close together. They just look with their puckered up mouth. Yeah, it's very weird. And their big uh, alien ears. Big their big ears bald there. heads. We laying this out for you. And then their yeah. gigantic sores. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're like nubs of horns, like, w- like stumps. Yeah, on their in head? some place no. they make. Well, yeah, they have horns and they have like it's like the knuckles are on the outside of their hands and their kneecaps as well. And they're very just, nubby and it's gross. It's yeah, all it's gross. gross. They also have a gross. crotch bump that's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's weird, man. Just gross. And creatures. they have kind of like pot bellies too. That's really oh, gross. yeah. <laughs> they definitely have pot bellies, yeah. but they're really slim. Otherwise, that's what doesn't make they're sense. It's like creepy skinny. Yeah, they're really and they're slim. Constantly like and gangly. Just, Moving bobble heading around. Yeah, like, they will. They have that uh, that like starvation body where it's like they're like skinny. <laughs> they do. Yeah, they, they, look they like do. Tiny African children. Yeah, no, they do. Large size. They do. Those like they're commercials. Starving, but they the have commercials huge for those like Ethiopian kids yes. that yeah. They just need a thousand flies on yeah. their faces. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they look like. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus. you know, body wise. Yeah. Well, yeah. it heads in that direction because the uh, toward the flies because the uh, parents all end up. Like, I thought it was a flashback to Mars or something, but Mikhail's like, no, this is happening right nope. now. Like, what? They're wandering around in the desert. Yeah, wandering around Palm Springs yeah. in a window farm. And apparently farm. the female mother has found shame because she's clothed, but no one else is at this point. She has, like, the sack, like the potato sack going. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah they they, apparently they, when they land in America or in in this in Earth, they learn nakedness and shame, like, immediately right. almost. So yes. they have, I, I feel like it was Except more, for the, the male ones don't. When they're introduced wandering through the desert, I feel like there's a reason, like, they're trying to block themselves from the wind and the weather mm-hmm. in that I point, thought that was so what was going on. I, yeah. I, I thought that's what was going yeah. on, and they just kind of kept it Cause at the one rest point, of the movie. Because at one point, she takes, like, a she's cloth, and she's, like, it. shielding the, right, she's the girl. Right, she's shielding the yeah. girl. Yeah. I think when we first yeah. see it, yeah. But she later does learn that. Yeah, that's we'll get to that. that. We'll get to yeah. it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel it's more a necessity of uh, just living, trying to live in the desert. <laughs> to, what, is there, is, is Mars not, not a desert planet? Right. It feels like they should. That's what a, I don't understand. Mars is like a red desert. Right? Yeah. right at home. Yeah. The only problem being that they can't go an inch below the soil to find water. So mm-hmm. they're out there dying of thirst. Right. Did they not have their straws? Was that the problem? No, they had them, but they, you see, they were all busted, and they were like digging. Right. Them oh, and they, and oh, there's nothing right. to right. suck up on this yeah. planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Palm Springs. There's golf courses. They could find little ponds and stuff. Sure. Yeah. It also feels like the uh, government just gave up looking for these people because mm. they're just like I'm pretty sure you could like fly a helicopter and go find them real quick. Yeah, no, yeah. The but they're just kinda, people right. wandering around in the desert. I feel like yeah. they're just kind of left alone for the entire movie until we get to the very end. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we get back to them, all we see them is wandering and then whistling. Mm-hmm. That's it. And yeah, putting their faces to, or hands to their faces, and making like a heart shape, and then whistling through yeah. it, and somehow yep. that's how they communicate with each other. Uh, the aliens also have another strange power. Um, I mean, aside from basically being able to turn into your gack, they uh, when they touch things, they ha- generate electricity or an electric spark. Yep, yep. they yeah. can turn on your TV without it being plugged in. That mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yep, they can cause rolling blackouts. Apparently, apparently, yep. yeah. I never understood how these biological uh, creatures do these and do this in movies. They're always like sucking the power out of the power grid and all that. But whatever. For this movie, the answer is it's a kids' movie. Callan, we're shooting this page today. It doesn't matter. I guess <laughs> yeah. so. Well, next, yeah. next scene. It has to pay off so they can start cars or do something crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But basically, the movie follows the general template of ET, yep. right? Yes. Uh, the kid and the alien get into adventures. They eventually like. Adopt kind of the uh, older brother and Gertie, and eventually some more people. And you know, there's a scene where they the equivalent of the Halloween scene, yeah, where they take the alien out of the house, dressed only, up, 
in a teddy bear uh, costume. I was going to say, there's like five major scenes in this movie that really make it memorable that we should probably touch Yeah, on. there was ten minutes when I woke up and was like, wow, this movie has finally turned into something. Right. You know when I Colin, like, is, is, he's got that... <laughs> yeah. Leaned back mode that he yeah. gets into uh, where I kind of look over. I'm like, I gotta make sure Colin's still awake. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There were a couple moments I was kind of nodding out. Mm-hmm. I had a long day. I sat down <laughs> and it was like, oh, and you know, uh, yeah. yeah. So, the, so the kid, they're moving into their new house, their handicap friendly house with all their Chicago merchandise everywhere. Sure, 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 uh, sure, sure. Matt goes all like Leatherface and starts like drilling through the walls and cutting <laughs> holes in the doors. Yeah, and this is more, I feel like it's more burbs. Yeah. Like when the chainsaw oh, that works, yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he moves a bunch of plants inside the house, like makes it like a marsh in the living yeah, room. For, it's really which, weird, which makes no sense because it's not like it's the environment he grew up in. He grew it, yeah, up in a fucking there's, desert. There's literally no reason like, for why is he bringing all stuff in. From what he has observed, he's trying to make uh, he's trying to make the house like what they like. Like they, what, who likes they uh, the parent or whatever the mom and when they moved in they were saying something about. I don't know, like the yard or something like this. And so he's basically bringing the yard inside the house to try and make it like. I mean, I guess it is like a five year old kid, alien wise. Yeah. 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 He's an idiot. But handicapped son gets blamed for doing this. He gets blamed for moving all these plants inside right. the house. Blame yep. the kid in the wheelchair yep. for sticking plants to the ceiling. Yeah. Yep. So in a huff, he goes out to the backyard to have a angry think in his wheelchair. Yeah, he's not even uh, that angry. He's just kind of looking around like, what? And he, uh, what rolling, is life? he's rolling down the hill. Uh, his hand brake breaks off his wheelchair and oh, he yeah. goes off, what, a hundred foot cliff? <laughs> At least, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not exaggerating, guys. It is no, a gigantic cliff. fucking cliff. Yeah. He has some serious hang time. What, like five yeah, yeah. seconds oh, of hang yeah. time before he hits the yeah, water? It's and dangerous. It's, it's glorious. It's, it's, <laughs> like, I'm sure you've seen the gif. It's a very famous gif. Paul Rudd loves if, this clip. I was going to say, if you've ever seen uh, Paul Rudd on Conan... Yeah, uh, yeah. This is the clip he always this brings. This is the clip he brings for every time he shows up on Conan to yeah. bring a clip for his movies. It's <laughs> yeah. always this clip of Mac and me. What? Yep. Uh, he brings a clip. So he's like, he bring, so let's take a cl- uh, look let's at one of this movie. Yeah. Yeah. This movie and, and it's always this. Just a clip of the kid yeah. going over the cliff. And it's uh, even, every time. It's even gotten to the point with like the Ant-Man movies and stuff where like the first half of the clip will be like Ant-Man and then it'll lead into the kid yeah. going oh, off the cliff in the wheelchair. It's wonderful. It's great. And if you watch it, I think he was in for, I think for This Is 40, um... Judd Apatow flew to the show to make sure that Paul Rudd showed an actual clip of the movie <laughs> and not a clip of Mac and me because the studios were getting pissed. They're like, no, you have to show the clip of the movie. But to be fair, I could watch that clip like on loop for the rest of my All life. All the time. It's amazing. It's, it's wonderful. Ridiculous. And that's it. It's an obvious dummy at one point when the wheelchair is yeah, going over sure. into the water. But it's because it's it's a drop that would kill you. Like there's there's yeah. no way you're living through that in a wheelchair or no. Yeah. Like not in that day. I'm sure if you the water doesn't if, look deep enough. No, but if you googled like those specifics right now, you could probably find somebody wheelchairing off a cliff into the water <laughs> nowadays. Oh, I'm sure. I like they were going to go with like the kids trying to kill himself or something. That's what like, it seemed like. Yeah, it's I mean, a this, kids movie. This movie. But it takes some really weird... The end know, is not detours. a kids movie. <laughs> not at all. It is the 80s where the 80s did shit in kids movies that you wouldn't think exactly. they like, yeah, this is acceptable. Yeah, no, which they, is why they the, were awesome. It's The way they set it up, it really does seem like the kid is contemplating suicide. <laughs> yeah, it's it very odd. Well, okay, and if, yeah. you're, if you're a mom and you're buying a house and you have a handicap son She's talking about how she did all this research about how the house is like handicapped. How accessible. about a fence? You didn't. You didn't how about think, a fucking fence? You didn't think maybe I should move next to the giant gorge, like the steep well, incline yeah, and the, the drop off. Well, also foot the drop mother's off. hoping your twelve-year-old kid isn't an idiot and is going to go off the like. It takes a while to get off the cliff. He does like, get some serious speed. He like, does. Yeah, like, he does. You should have some confidence in your children for them to not be morons at a certain point where they won't have this happen themselves. But she, she trusted him with that cliff and he abused and that trust. Boy, he, he really did. did. Wow. Well, uh, first of all, before we move on to the next awesome scene in the movie, <laughs> uh, how do we? His name is Mac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. mysterious alien creature. Uh, yeah, yeah. kind of like no, the, not Big Mac. The two, the t- <laughs> two, the toast on the toe. meat bread. Oh, oh, that tuna. was terrible. Fuck that tuna line. on wheat. Yeah. <sighs> Tau, tuna oh, on wheat. Tuna, tuna, on, yeah. tuna on whole wheat. Yeah. yeah. Tuna on whole wheat. Yeah, it was like that's not a thing. It's not a thing. They That's, make acronyms. All these people it? in this uh, in this movie, mm-hmm. and so Mac, the magnificent alien creature. What is it? Mysterious. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, just you. Whatever you think <laughs> it you, is, you keep saying. Keep saying whatever you, keep you think it is. Stab at it, Colin. Changes, it's fine. Uh, Delicious alien creature. 
<laughs> well, moronic. All right, so here's this. This is like probably the best thing that you're going to hear tonight. So at some point, they do take the alien out of the house. They disguise him as a teddy bear because Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> this is anybody? what I see in my sleep. Yeah, paralysis. oh yeah, Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin was I'm a I'm sure Sean thing. had one. I, d- I didn't like he how you- like three of them. I didn't like how you could hack a Teddy Ruxpin. I was uncomfortable with the capabilities of it. You I could know, put any like- cassette tape in it. That's not okay. <laughs> right, the dangers. That's some Black your, Sabbath. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Teddy bears. Well, you could ostensibly record your own cassette tape saying uh-huh. whatever fucked I'm up sure shit you that want, that and Teddy happens. Ruxpin would say oh, yeah. it to the YouTube's. What a wonderful yeah. toy. That's a good. That's good for a horror movie. Yeah. Let's do that. So they have this alien in a teddy bear suit running around, oh, disguised boy. as a uh, you know electronic uh, t- a toy or teddy going bear. going to a quintessential. Event of eighties and nineties childhood, yes. but it's like the a- McDonald's birthday party. Got yeah, him. And Holly and I both had one. Yes. I also, yes. I may have had a couple. Yeah. Yes. Again, because I'm the rich kid in this room. Uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I may have. I know I at least had one. I may have had one or two. Yeah, my mine was pretty dope. I, I oh yeah, it. McDonald's I party like with the shit. Plate. If you like, if you had a oh, birthday yeah. party, it wasn't a McDonald's party. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah you at least I had a, one. Yeah, as you were just. The I will say, kid. I had the yeah. biggest guest turnout for my McDonald's birthday party. Any other birthday party. Take yeah. that, Sean. But like, nice. <laughs> compared to any other birthday I had, that was sure. the most amount of people that showed up was sure. for the McDonald's party. Because wow. everyone wanted to well, go yeah. to McDonald's yeah. party. Yeah. Right. Probably yeah. the Hambler burglar's going to show up. Maybe Grimace. No. No. Yeah. I got to go behind the counter Ronald and see McDonald? all the back workings of a McDonald's, which as an adult is not cool, but as a kid was pretty <laughs> awesome. Mm-hmm. Right, where they just was let from... you near the fryers and yeah. shit. They, they, they let me hand a drive-out order to someone through Whoa. the drive through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You didn't even get paid for it. No, no. See, it's a genius hack by McDonald's. See, I don't remember that. I just remember the orange drink and the cookies and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yep, yep. Did you get a plate? I got a oh, plate. Yeah. yeah. I, I got a plate. A plate. Hell's yeah. yeah. All right. Well, in this movie, yeah. they do the. I'm sorry, Colin, that you missed out on McDonald's. I know. Parties. I didn't have McDonald's parties. I'm sorry. But no. apparently, I mean, if it was something like in this movie where Ronald McDonald not. himself. I have to say, when I'm saying this, when the movie turns the, into breaking, I'm saying yeah. it's the actual Ronald it McDonald is. shows the up. The actual. The actual Ronald yeah. McDonald. The and one yes, in Sean the commercials gave, and shit. Yeah. yeah. And Sean gave it away. But yes, the movie turns into breaking. A four minute dance scene choreographed yeah. in the middle of McDonald's. And Ronald himself oh. does not get in on this. No! What, what he a does waste a little bit. He does what like a, shimmy but not a like little bit. Have, like Ronald right front he, he and center. Should like, he should be, fr- he should be front and center front leading the center. crowd. Yeah. If McDonald's is dedicated McDonald's to this. McDonald's didn't want him to do that. They didn't even want him in the movie. Uh, no. They, no what? They, they didn't want him in the movie because they wanted... they. They figured if he was in the movie, it would seem too much like this is a McDonald's commercial. Yep, yeah, that'd be so going that's over why the line. They were, <laughs> that's well, where they drew the line. Sure. The, the, a lot of this, and actually kind of what I appreciated about the movie was like, in so many other films, you see like the generic, the mall, right? Mm-hmm. Or the mall store yeah. or the drive-in. Yeah, in this movie. In oh. this one, it's like we shot in a McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. We shot in a Sears. Yeah. We shot in, you know, wherever. It's like, it's, these are real places that yeah. were blowing up television yeah. sets up in and yeah. breaking the glass yeah. doors. And- McDonald's, Sears, Coke. It was all over the place, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did we say that these aliens subsist on a steady diet of Coca-Cola? Classic. 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 Coca-Cola. Classic. Cola. To the you. point that they turned down water. Like, did Mac, like, waved away the water so when like, they tried no, to give no. it to him? He's like, no, Coke. I'll just have a Coke. Coke mm-hmm. brings them back to life, even. It is yeah. A sippy straw. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about it. Generous well, I was, was going to say we should go back to McDonald's a little bit more because well, Mac true. does, uh, in his teddy bear costume it's, dance on the counter at it's, McDonald's. It's the the most jarring thing in the It's movie. really upsetting. I mean, it's, ups- it's upsetting. What are you talking about, you people? I, Him in like the that. teddy bear costume is gross, and I don't this like it. This is the most joyous thing that I have <laughs> seen in a movie this year. It made my heart swell two times too large. <laughs> oh, we've got sarcastic Colin, guys. <laughs> we knew he'd show up to the party eventually. <laughs> I mean, well, this is what it's trying. To, this movie is relentlessly upbeat, right? Relentlessly yeah. sweet movie S- until Zachary, toward the end. <laughs> where the where fuck did this dance sequence fuck. come from? Yeah. Where did Why? it come it from? It starts in the parking lot. Where did it come from? Like the, this was it is just born out of 90s, joy, 80s. Holly. Just born pure out of joy. joy, pure joy, pure joy. Explodes. Which apparently you weren't. <laughs> it just, yeah. I've never seen a McDonald's that full. My middle that name is, is the joy. most packed McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. There's like. There are football players and by the way, football players and full pads. 
There's ballerinas Dancing. who There's look ballerinas. completely uh, disgusted uh, by the things that are going on. I knew this movie could okay. yell, Sean. That's I knew what, you were going to scream over this Now, movie. this is where I'm going to call bullshit. Ballerinas do not eat McDonald's. Point <laughs> A. <laughs> <laughs> no. Olympians do. There ballerinas don't. I mean, you know. <laughs> ballerinas don't eat. <laughs> but that's why the joy of this whole has attracted like, these women to McDonald's. Today. McDonald's is a common denominator for America, just, apparently. Like for the world, out. Michaela. The world. Like teddy bears. The universe. Yeah. Dancing. And but like, like we say teddy bear, but it's so a much more. Of McDonald's people just going yeah. for it with him. Oh, yeah. We say teddy bear, but it's so yeah. crude. Like it's such a crude design. Oh, it's such a crude dance. Yeah. Also, as well. also, there are a shit ton of people inside that McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. It's packed. It's, it's the busiest capacity, McDonald's I've yeah. ever seen. It's packed. There's not enough chairs for everyone. No, no. there's not. No. And there's people dancing in the parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> they're waiting it to get moves, in because there's so many from, people yeah. in there. Guys, what should we do? While we're waiting out here to get in the McDonald's. I don't know. Let's dance. It's a, <laughs> like, well, I got this boombox here, yeah. so we can come up with something. There was a straight up crane shot of them dancing in the parking yeah. lot, and that I was, was like, was a "Oh my god!" Musical yeah. number. Yeah. Full just on. Came, the, the only, only thing, one. The only thing that was wrong with it is nobody was actually singing. No, that's no. what it was missing they were just because all it just had this boombox. Well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, the dancing started, I think, like at the beginning of the scene, right? Mm-hmm. Like they're pulling into the parking lot. And the break dancers are out there. Right. And then you go inside, and then and it's a party. And it's a party it that turns into, into a. a right. I, it's because it's led by the like, uh, <laughs> joyful, wholesome spirit of Little Mac. And Ronald McDonald. <clears throat> and Ronald Mac. I, maybe McDonald. that's it's the two of them in the same room How, together. If you, guys, an if you guys went to a McDonald's and you saw the legit Ronald McDonald, would you not be a little stoked? Like the real one. That I mean, might sure. make me want to break out into <laughs> yeah. song and dance. It, I don't it, know. It's it, never happened. It befuddled the police. <laughs> She's very, <laughs> incre- very incredulous right now. Like, I don't know about that. Really, Holly? He's kind of creepy. But you have creepy no, or not, he's still a pop culture icon. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And creepy from start to finish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, it's... He's still a myth, though. You know, like uh, just people who are happy enough to be clowns. It's just I mean, weird. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just it's an odd. Weird it's an odd choice. choice in life. Yeah, this it's an it's odd choice. Yeah, but if you're gonna be a clown, Ronald McDonald's the one to be. Though he's like the clown. That's yeah. gonna be the most bankrolling clown ever. I mean, uh, I don't know if I want to be the clown, though. You know. <laughs> well, no, but like, what is your clown, life? Like, uh, what is your life outside shakes? of that? But like, shakes if, the clown. If no. if you yeah. went to your local McDonald's and the Ronald Chuckles. McDonald's was there, you'd at least Snapchat it, right? You know, you at least oh, like, I don't have Snapchat. Well, you, you get what I'm saying. Like, you would at least document it in some short term, short term. I can get down with some grimace. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I can get down with some grimace. Hamburger. Yeah. Yeah. What is the top Mayor of McCheese? One? Remember Mayor McCheese? Yeah. Hell yeah. Trying, what's the girl mm-hmm. one with the pigtails? Birdie. 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 That's Birdie. why because yeah. she's Birdie. not. The fry like, kids yeah. were dope too. The fry kids. Fry kids. Yeah. I was always the, ch- disturbed the by chicken grimace. McNuggets. Grimace bothered me. What is I he? liked Grimace. What is he? He's purple. He's a purple. He's purple. purple. He's, That's, he's, but like but everyone else is a thing related to McDonald's and he's, he's not. He's just purple incarnate. That's not, what does that do with McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> he's purple. <laughs> okay, so this movie. <laughs> there was a Mayor McCheese. Uh, yeah, Mayor yeah, McCheese. But that makes sense. Nothing else should make sense. That, no, no, it but would it, make sense. It, it relates to McDonald's because he's sure. a fucking cheeseburger. Yeah, but what is Grimace? He's Ron- not He's not anything. But Ronald McDonald didn't have anything to do with it. He was like the mascot, obviously, yeah. but he wasn't like a cheeseburger or anything. He yeah, didn't steal I, cheeseburgers. But Grimace isn't anything. He's a purple sheep. He's not even a person. You're never going to solve this. He's nothing. Listener, tell us how, how does Grimace relate <laughs> to McDonald's? <clears throat> Maybe yeah. I mean did Purple they ha- did, did they like have it. a grape drink? I'm sure they did. Because I know it's, I know they had orange drink because that's what we had at birthday parties. Mm-hmm. But did they have grape drink? Frozen grape thing. I don't know what. Maybe they had grape drink or like a uh, grape jam on something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're reaching. You're reaching. <laughs> uh, so they escape this uh, because I think it is the, an escape. They, <laughs> well, to get away from what was happening in there is an escape. They're also being hunted by the by NASA. Yeah. Right, by NASA and uh, police who are befuddled by the dance sequence going on in front of them. Mm-hmm. Or like, they just stand in the doorway. It, it is like, a good distraction. Argh. Yeah, that's the thing. You can get away from uh, right. you know the folks when. But I like that uh, this is the era that like Stranger Things is doing uh, an homage to. Right when you have mm-hmm. the uh, the head of the uh, secret top secret lab yeah. that's all dressed in the nines in a nice suit, you right. know, three piece suit. Right, and this is what they're trying to do. Yeah, who comes out like going door to door? You know, have you seen anything have strange? You seen, have happened? you seen this boy? Yeah. <laughs> um, so they're being hunted by these fellows, and a chase scene. This is the most of, egregious ripoff. 
the whole movie. Yeah, it's she, definitely the most blatant. The most egregious. The chase. Oh, in the wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, okay. Leading from the okay. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. they have to yeah, get yeah. out of the McDonald's. Yeah. And then they hit the freeway. Kid in his wheelchair with Mac like going in his lap. opposite of going head on into traffic on downhill. The to a dangerous degree, it yeah. would seem, because some of those stunts... There's some close calls. Quote, unquote, yeah. stunt cars. Who well, knows and, if they were stunt and cars? And in the... Got the, real close. And oh, in yeah. the short, the few minutes that we watched of the interview with the director, he admitted that a lot of the stunts were actually done by this kid because it was just more realistic. <laughs> because, right. like, he was saying, yeah. basically, people can't act in wheelchairs is pretty much what he said, which is like, that's a... That's a bullshit excuse, but okay. Then you just want to put this it's kid the in. 80s, man. Yeah. It's the 80s, man. Yeah. Some yeah. of it looks uh, extremely dangerous. Yeah. There yeah. was one yeah. close call where it was like, oh my God, you almost killed that person. Yeah. Stunt person. Right? You see him from the back of his even, head. Even the NASA like agents get a couple close calls, too, where they're like ho- just barely dodging cars or like hopping yeah. over yeah. them. There's a couple close I'm calls. I'm telling you, too. this is when the movie is alive. It's yeah. alive right. from like yeah. McDonald's when it, when, when through the danger. Chase. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. But yeah, this is where it is. We're just like, oh, okay, I'm back in this. I'm awake now. <laughs> right. So our main Something's character's wheeling downhill, down these giant California hills in the subdivision. This with, kid who's who's been working out his upper body. His arms are going to be ripped. Years, apparently, preparing for <laughs> something like this to happen. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he's able to outpace grown men. But that's yeah. the... Now, these grown men, okay, going downhill, chasing a... Now, imagine, in suits and loafers. Yeah. To be fair. Are, yeah. I mean, even on like straightaway blacktop, they're not, they're having a hard time keeping up with the kid. Are the they? Yeah. They're right before, behind him. Just the before, right, just before the he same gets picked up in the van, they're just like doing that fake run where they're just like, oh. Yeah, but they're still there, is my yeah. point. Oh, like, yeah. a normal human being would be out of it. Like, I mean, come on. I mean, he's got wheels. On wheels. He's got wheels. Better. But they're like right behind him, just out of arm's reach, kind of. Okay, they're a little but, further back than that. But he's got Mac in his lap, and Mac has random pieces of clothing, like, swaddled around him. Yeah, because just they, like E.T. Because they flew through a uh, clothesline. Yeah, clothing. I like that they throw yeah. off a bunch of the clothes we see and him as he's like more clothing. And he's got more clothes on. <laughs> and this, the music is like swelling. E. It is. It's swelling. Music it by Alan Silvestri. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah. And it yeah. looks just Forming like it. a certain bike chase scene. Really yeah. does. From another really movie. Really does. Just <laughs> like it. Mm-hmm. It's which which movie shot? It's egregious. I'm, so I'm saying I, I can't Spielberg say. had a case, man. That's yeah. you know, oh, yeah. oh, he could have uh, been yeah. like, I'm suing for just this scene. Sometimes though, it's just embarrassing to like. You you can't be Spielberg and just sue this movie. Mm-hmm. You can't. You could do that. though. You could. Sure. You could. And would win anyone easily, be mad at him for like, that? No uh, one cares about this movie to be upset if Spielberg were to sue over it. You well, know? I think thing. Nobody cares about this well, movie. Thing. So yeah. you sue, yeah. you bring more publicity right. to He's it. Like, nah. Probably the yeah. fact that right. he didn't do anything. Like nobody remembers Mac and me. Am I right? Yep. No, it, a lot of people I think, remember this movie. I think we'll this, is pretty, this, this movie has stuck with a lot of people. Yeah. This movie was not profitable on its release, but since uh, home video, it has become profitable. Get so it, it has made more money. Get uh, the fuck out. Yeah. It's got a collector's edition. It has made more money being uh, a cult movie being than a, it being, being a, a legit movie. movie. Yeah. So. Wow. Well. Yeah, I thank mean, you, thank you, Shout Factory, for my Blu-ray. It is. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is all movies, I could hope for. It's like E.T. Enemy Mine. Mac and me, like that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's your list. Wow, that's it. Mm-hmm. Wow. And did we talk about how the most impressive part of that chase scene was that the older brother scooped the entire wheelchair? Oh, up he came in for the scoop from, and he got from it. A moving van, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, their their that van pulls up and they grab Mac out of his lap and then he literally lifts his whole brother in the wheelchair up into hey. the van. That's yeah. When you've been pushing your brother around for his entire life, which I'm assuming he was. Wheelchair's a heavy just, man though. Yeah, but I'm saying he like built up like muscle doing <laughs> he it. He doesn't look like it. Yeah, he's a pretty slim guy. <laughs> but it's it's surprising. Yeah. Like this it's all yeah. lean muscle. Mm-hmm. Lean muscle. <laughs> Only right. for the lifting of uh yeah. It was Wheelchair. amazing, improbable, but fantastic. Probable. And Some again, say impossible, <laughs> but but impressive. And he's got uh, was it Denise? Denise's sister? Which one's Denise? Courtney, Debbie, 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 Debbie and Courtney, Debbie and Courtney. Courtney. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Courtney's in there. She works at McDonald's. Yes, she does. She like wears a uniform the, the entire whole movie. movie. That's right. Well, you have to. You got to wear the colors. I didn't know they had the M on the butt. I thought that was oh, an interesting choice. That? Yeah, there was a oh, little M that, yeah. embroidery like on the, above the back pocket, oh. and I was like, "Ooh, that doesn't seem normal." I noticed that <laughs> for a here. work uniform. They're like, "We need it from all sides." Yeah, McDonald's branding. <laughs> Nowhere will yeah, you every go. Every part that somebody's going to look at, yeah. we need some branding on there. 
Yeah. We can't put it on the back of your shirt. That won't work. No. It needs to be on your pants. Well, this is basically to get, uh, they got to get Mac out of the city, out to the desert where he's leading them toward um, where his family is located in some mine out in the Mojave Desert. Right. And there's the a Mojave, chase scene through a Sears Palm Springs. briefly. The Palm Springs Desert. Yeah, they, get through, they get through a Sears. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the chase through the Sears would blow up the TVs. The and- NASA, NASA team gets stuck inside the Sears and throws a TV through a window. To get, get out. out. That was, was fantastic. Great. One of them gets hit by a semi. Yep. Hey, am I getting this out of order then? It doesn't they matter, Colin. The, no, really that's doesn't. right. No, they don't. They pick up the, uh, yeah, because they, they have to go out in the desert mm-hmm. and pick yeah, these and find, horses uh, and find a, a some billboard. Wild horses. Billboard and some more wild horses, horses that run like, alongside the car. I was going to say, did it seem like the wild horses were guiding them towards the right direction to you guys? Like they lined that's up the, along the van. That's the only sense that that could make what other purpose would they would that's it they were like, attracted it. to the van by uh max uh purity of soul his soul pure soul but still what point is it what does that serve i don't know yeah. don't they're know. just drawn that's, to it it's the, and then eventually it's the van's the, like we gotta get out of here and it pulls ahead of them and they can't keep mac, up are you saying and mac is a horse whisperer all the horses <laughs> no, are saying. crying at that moment yep it's a beautiful a lot of moment crying. There is a lot of crying. Yeah. Crying. Because crying. the fucking Oof, family's bro. dead when they find them yeah. in the abandoned they're, mine. They're comatose. Dead. Yeah. They're, they with their dead. eyes open. Coke classic to bring them back to life. This is true. Coke classic. It does actually bring the dead to life. It's fantastic. Yeah. I think we, we've all we've all agreed that McDonald's Coke can actually bring people yeah, back probably. to life. I mean, when I'm hungover, I feel if like that's what's happening. It, you know? it has healing powers. Yeah. I'll say it now. Yeah. If I'm ever... In a vegetative state. Sure. Bring you a McDonald's cup. <laughs> try I it. Mean. I'm just saying try, try it. it. That's all I'm saying. Do you like, want I it, want... like a feeding tube or do you want it intravenously, like mainline that shit? No feeding tube. I want yeah, to like, get it through the taste buds. You gotta taste it. You gotta taste it. That's like, the thing. Pop me out of it. Yeah. yeah. As long as there's like brain activity where that can compute from the taste buds to the brain. Give it a shot. Yeah. I'm up for anything so that will try and bring me back. this movie might life. be right. Maybe. <laughs> I'm willing to find that out. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm saying we've probably got people all over the country who are in this state. Mm-hmm. Let's try Coke. Mm-hmm. Let's try McDonald's Coke. Let's just yeah. give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It can't the hurt. The restorative power. <laughs> yeah. No, I am on board with From you. the fountain. Absolutely. Of McDonald's Coke. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm saying. I mean, there it is. Yep. I don't you think never, it's don't. ridiculous at all. <laughs> <laughs> Neither like, do I'm I. Like house coming up with cures here. Let's, yeah. Come on. This is what we do. So uh, this leads to a. Uh, they do restore them. Yeah. These fish out of water aliens are going around like you know doing weird and fucking crazy shit and the, so eventually they end up uh, the 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 bad guys catch up to them. They're at a gas station. <clears throat> a gas station slash convenience store, grocery yeah. stores, strip, strip, strip mall, mall type yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a strip the mall aliens, situation. The aliens are in this movie a lot in broad daylight in their rubber suits. Yeah, and yeah. it's hard to look at in a bright, <laughs> fully lit grocery store. Yeah, that night, that that the fluorescent light is really not helping. Oh. No. And at some point, like, they get the gun off of a security security guard. guard. And they don't drop the gun. So, like, the entire police force shows up. And then you're like. It turns into a hostage situation real quick. Yeah, it does. It's like, what the hell just happened? What is this doing in my kids' movie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they do shoot them to death. It turns into Cobra (laughs) real quick. (laughs) They do. It's the the intro to Cobra. They kill these aliens. They They do. They try really hard. Yeah. And they kill the kids. They yeah. shoot him dead. The whole yeah. gas station strip mall blows up. <laughs> blows up. Yeah. And, and the kid gets hit by a shot. stray bullet stray from bullet a cop. Shot in the chest. <laughs> a yeah. handicapped kid gets shot coming. by a cop. <laughs> I, got, I gotta say, <laughs> this movie was very unpredictable. <laughs> yes, that's yes. why you I, got brought it. I did not see any of this shit His coming. His dead wheelchair body slumped over yeah. as the yeah. aliens burned <laughs> to death. <laughs> and everyone in the strip mall, apparently, because yeah. there was a bunch of cars parked yeah. there. And it's like a Joel Silver explosion. It's a legit explosion. A good one. Yeah. We just yeah. don't do explosions good no. anymore. I was not nope. expecting any of this. Yeah, this was a good explosion. Yeah, because now but. if you saw that, you'd be like, man, eh, they added some of that debris that's flying off right. there in the smoke right. no, and whatever. Like, no, they just blew shit I, up back there. Yeah, they honestly, blew up a fucking strip mall. Honestly, though, my favorite part about the explosion was the superimposed wheelchair. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, that was pretty great. Oh good, that was wonderful. Yeah, right in the oh, foreground shit. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, you were saying, Sean, that the Japanese cut of the movie actually does show a bullet impact on the yes. kids. Yes. Straightforward, just shot in the chest. Shot in the chest. The child gets shot like in the squib- chest. Squibby? 
like not really squibby, but like it, they cut to like a close up where you can like it's obvious. Where you Whereas know he one, got shot. In this one, they cut around it. You don't know if it's the impact I of the explosion or if he got no, shot. No, yeah. No, no, no. yeah, I was yeah, very no. yeah, I was yeah, very no. confused. He gets hit by a stray yeah. bullet from that cop that falls, that trips and falls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, he gets shot in the chest, I which is liked, crazy. In a kids movie, nuts. your protagonist gets shot by the cops for no reason. Nuts, like. That's insane. Yeah, let's not make it too real here, folks. Yeah. Let's calm the fuck yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we know you just blew up an alien family, but yeah. dear lord. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it a spoiler to say that the aliens survive the explosion? I mean, come walking. I don't think out spoilers the, are concerned with this movie. Mm-hmm. Come walking out of the fire like T one thousand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Slow mo walk out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would it surprise you to learn that? The aliens have miraculous restorative powers. See, this is where the movie lost me. I'm like, yes, this everyone's, where, okay. everyone's <laughs> no, everyone's dead. I like this. I'm like, kill them all. <laughs> aliens are dead. Fucking annoying kid is dead. I'm down for this ending. Let's just credits now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's you get out the of it. Credits roll over that yeah. burning building. Yeah, I just want it to burn and credits to go up. And it then put one of those weird. songs on it. I'm all for it. Oh yeah, these '80s pop songs. Which yeah, were fantastic. Oh, yeah. The penis yeah, burns. Yeah, the an terror Ashford sounded Simpson like Simpson song too. The weird thing was, ladies and germs, is that the entire time that we're watching this movie, the entire time, during the movie, Sean is actively, re- in a kid's movie, rooting for the death of all the main characters. When we got to, yeah. uh, probably two-thirds of the way through, I'm like, all right, let's just, let's start killing Let's people. have some stakes. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, something, let, yeah. Then you could hear the rage and fury in his, he I was angry. got more and more, because of course he's watching a kid's movie where they generally don't kill people in right. a massive, you know, uh, cruel and creative ways. But it's because for so long wish. in this movie, they're not doing anything. <clears throat> I don't know what not Max's character anything. is at all. Mm-mm. He mm-hmm. is expressive as a uh, animatronic. They've Built in a bunch of things. He's that barely is, expressive. His eyes move and his ears move. His yeah. expression is that's wonder it. at everything, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. He is no ET. That's the biggest no. problem, I think, with that character. It's like everybody else is doing stuff, and he's this lump of rubber and plastic that everybody's supposed to give a shit about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it never feels alive at all at any time in this movie. Yeah. If that was a fail. Yeah. If, if they had actually killed, like, kept the protagonist dead in this movie, it would have been the My Girl or the Bridge to Terabithia of the 80s. Like, it would have been a movie that scarred a whole generation of kids being like, yeah, that fucked me up forever. Yeah. yeah. They could have been that, and it it chose not to be. Maybe it did, you know, screw them all up just because they killed people in the movie. But they all get brought back. Everyone that dies gets brought back. Yeah, no, I I still feel like if you grew up with this movie, you're probably not right. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. (laughs) Hear that, listener? It was only in theaters for two weeks, so... I feel like a lot. There wasn't a lot of opportunity to even be someone who grew up with it. So if you did, you really had to work for I it. I feel like this might have been on TV at some point. Probably its budget know? was thirteen million dollars in nineteen eighty-eight. Mm-hmm. Thirteen million. It's an dollars. expensive movie. Yeah, no, that's like that's not low budget. No, I mean I suppose it's, you know compared to whatever uh, a Spielberg movie cost, it's low <laughs> budget. But that's not like you know, it's not nothing. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, it did like six million. Total See, I mean, lifetime. Still, like that surprises me. Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> but that surprises me. It too. should be more surprising to you that it's it's gone into profitability, become from cult status. So mm. that means we've done over another seven million dollars just from being like this is a joke movie. Mm-hmm. I'm included in that because I did pay to pay for this I, movie. I know that's yeah, what we're yeah, saying. We're looking at. I didn't have a choice. Blu-ray here. I didn't have a choice. Michaela chose to you bring a movie no, to the free show <laughs> that she you, didn't know how we were going to watch. You made your so choice. So I, I played. I played myself. I had to buy the. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I ended up having to buy the Shell Factory Blu-ray, but yeah, you got to have very these things Blu-ray, in pocket. So. You got to have them in pocket or know where they're at. I I have watched this movie like twice before, so I had a way of watching it at some point. So I was like, I could have swore it was on street. If you you look up Amazon Prime, it comes up, and then when you go to click on it, it says it's not available to stream right now. So it was that. on Amazon they Prime at one point. Shit off of it. Yeah, but then they still leave it to come up in a search. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. So because mm-hmm. they're bastards. Yeah, they're evil, mm-hmm. rotten bastards. Yes. So this is why physical media uh, will never mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't just count on mm-hmm. those streamers. <laughs> you can't. You got to fucking can't do it. buy a copy can't of it. Do it. Damn it! Mm-hmm. Take it with you to yeah. the grave. No, I mean into the bunker. To survive. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, at the end of the film, mm-hmm. after everyone has been murdered. Oh, God, yeah, that's right. Murdered. We got another yeah. big scene to talk and about. And then, yeah, and then, and then he's, the he's, mirac- he's miraculously revived uh-huh. by the soda fueled aliens. Mm-hmm. 
Fuck sure. That. Yeah. It's magic coke. That's what it I is. I know, because you can't coke die when you have powers. that much coke in Coke has healing powers. Yeah. Coke is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Um, a hell of a drug. But then we cut to uh, some time later mm-hmm. and uh, to uh, a, a justice uh, building, a courthouse. <laughs> oh, I couldn't wait for you guys to watch this scene. I really could not wait for you guys to see this scene. Uh, I was so I, excited about this. I actually thought this is the type of movie where like the next thing is like they, you know, you, you take them and they meet the president. It's, and better, than, right. it's yeah, better than that, though. It's an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. But no, we... Uh, we'll skip right past that. A baseball game or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, we go to a, a naturalization ceremony where uh, everybody's being sworn in to become legal citizens of the United States. They're citizens now! <laughs> For, because they saved that kid in a wheelchair? They didn't say they're, they're the words. Damn it. They didn't say the oath or say I do or anything like that. They didn't say shit. They had their hands in the air. How, how do we even know they want to stay? Well, well, maybe they want to go back to their how own planet. How are they go back? Yeah, I think that's they the thing. They're that's stuck it. here. It's like, yeah. uh, we don't have another mission going to quote, Mars, <laughs> Mars for yeah. another... Uh, 15 they, years, so. They have become, like, the 1950s nuclear that's, family. Yeah. That's my Barely. favorite part. That's my favorite yeah. part. That they're, they're dressed like they're out of an episode of I Love Lucy. Yeah, yeah. the dad's the got Jetsons. a real yeah. red Foreman <laughs> oh, vibe yeah. going on. Yeah, it's... Jesus. Oh, it's yeah, great. It's, pillbox hat and that all. That pillbox is, hat and earrings. Polka dot oh, dress. Yeah. Jesus Christ. My dad, they, uh, they got the white picket story. fence and everything, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. They'll Ameri- be accepted into society. Yeah. They'll be fine. They're the American Nobody's going to murder them. That's the sequel. No, because it's the 80s. It said at the end, I think they blow bubbles uh, of chewing gum. We'll be back. And it says they're coming back for well, Mac and Me 2, the real, movie, but, greatest movie never made. But realistically, made. I mean, they can bring people back to life, so they've got a job, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> they're right. fine. These will be, be a real fucking problem. science yeah. experiments. <laughs> They'd be held in cages for the by the well, government. Okay, and like even Sean going, is like and we're shocked. You and poor shocked. man have been just beaten down by life in general, well, and, and you've lost all hope to appreciate the simple pleasures. Of a movie ho- back there's there's nothing, hopeful. Colin. There's 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 nothing six- hopeful left in this life. This is what we do to people, <laughs> well, Colin. Sh- Sean, to your point, at the very beginning when they escape the facility and they're going down like the highway, and all those people on the freeway see them. Like all those people would have been like mind wiped or like killed or something, right? So, yeah, There's no something. way NASA's letting that many people who right. saw they aliens would, would just go about their day. Throwers going yeah. down the highway, just roasting people. Yeah, that's like, that's that's the movie I want. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to see people getting murdered at the to very keep this least, secret. At the very least, they're mind wiping you. If nothing yes, else, they're yeah, mind wiping you. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah, but but also like this is the '80s, so they're like cutting out pieces of your brain yeah. to keep you from telling people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I want the darker version of Mac and Me. Make it, Sean. I can't. Wow. That's wow. not. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna re-edit this movie. Yeah. Uh, keep yeah. the kid dead. I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, I guess uh... <laughs> I've got a little bit of interesting uh, box office history. I got kind of deep dive to the history of this movie a little okay. bit, and uh, it's kind of neighborly with a couple other freak show movies we've done before. So neighborly this how? this so movie came out August twelfth, nineteen eighty eight. It opened at number ten, which is yikes, fucking yikes. That's the reason why it was out yeah, two weeks yeah, later. Yeah. Um, but when it opened, it nudged out. The, our beloved The Blob from the top yeah. 10. Oh, it pushed man. it out of the top 10 and How pushed it to number 11. One week. Whoa. Yeah, that's what's so sad. Oh, Isn't that really so sad? sad? Yeah, that's I was really sad. I actually like it really made me Another hate this movie. Hate I was movie. really like, yeah. How dare you? The Blob yeah. is an amazing movie. How dare you? Like, what, like, what gives you the right? I, right? You know? <laughs> Who do you think Who you are? Who do you think you are? <laughs> and like, you. Did Mac and me have a better ad campaign? I don't think the Blob really did. Well, I mean, they, didn't have they McDonald's had McDonald's and Coke, Coke behind yeah, them. True. So, and then the week before. For the Blob was Monkey Shines. Oh. So we had three weeks in a row. Monkey Shines, The Blob, and Mac and Me all came out in theaters. <laughs> and Monkey Shines, I think, came in at like number seven or eight and then was gone. It was not even in the, on yeah. the chart after that. So, that. yeah. Those movies yeah. went like all, almost direct. Well, video. these were all late August releases, which is already where you dump your movies you're not confident in. So it wasn't a great. It wasn't a yeah, like, those prime were... box office, well, you know. It sounds to like begin there's, with. Just, there's too much stuff going on at once, and probably yeah. like the big movie of the year, which was uh, 1988. I don't know what the Oh, probably Rambo. No, I'm kidding. That was me. Uh, yeah. It wasn't Die, Die Hard? Was Die Hard? Die, Die Hard, Hard was, yeah. That big. Was a, that was like a June. No, that might have been an August movie. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's got some... cluttered marketplace. Yes. Very. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. We don't get that anymore. 
Yeah. Not like this. <laughs> not, not like, like this. not like this couple weeks was. Yeah. Yeah, because now studios are, you know, they make room for other movies mm-hmm. that are, will cannibalize your audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you move them apart from each other. Mm-hmm. Back then, they were just like, no, we got to hit a date. Throw it out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I tell you what, we're going to talk a little bit more about Mac and me. You are going to want to stick around Enjoy. to hear this because I'm, we're going to go around the table. We're going to find out what every single one of the internet radio superstars thought of this movie. But first... We want to entertain you some more with a song and dance number that we like to call Igor's Mailbag. (laughs) Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Thanks, Igor. Igor. He's got got his McDonald's. What's eating, Igor? He's got a teddy bear costume on that I really am not a fan of. Oh, he's got one of those McDonald's like pizzas from back in the day. Oh Ew. God! Did, How old is I that? Remember thing? when they tried those? Didn't they do hot dogs at one point in time too? Probably. I think they've tried everything. At some, I'm at sure some they've point. done everything for better or worse. They've tried everything. Yeah. Well, uh, about tonight's movie. Oh, by the way, uh, you can uh, right. get a hold of us, and we hope that you do. Uh, follow along for the time of your life on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can get a hold of us by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope that you do. Write in. Let us know what you thought about this movie or next week's movie or last week's movie or any movie that we've done or covered. Or just say hi. Whatevs. We don't care. We'd like to hear from you. Send us pictures of your dogs. Yes. Um, B-Movie Poster Vault writes in and says, uh, regarding Mac and me, you have my sympathies. (laughs) I tried watching that crap taster. Crap taster of a movie more than once. I never made it more than five minutes in. Eventually, I watched it on Mystery Science Theater 3000, All right. which softened the blow slightly. It's still a jaw dropping abomination of a flick, a corporate cash in that starred the second most terrifying ET I've ever seen. Mm. Only Turkey manages to one up them in bed. Whoever picked this flick needs to buy apology beers for the rest of the year. <laughs> that's the year. It's really early in the year. <laughs> wow. Apology. I mean, that's your fault. <laughs> uh, Dom Cree writes in and says, I don't think I've ever even sat through the whole thing, but I love the concept of it. I also love the acronym title. I have an Italian version of the poster sitting in my garage. Send us a picture of it. I want to see it. <laughs> Send us the poster. He says this <laughs> E.T. knockoff has to be better than Nuki, right? Yeah, probably. Nuki? That's like a South African E.T. knockoff. <laughs> what? So, that sounds yeah, great. So there. That, <laughs> imagine what you will, that, what that movie's like. I, I can't. I haven't no. seen it, but I can't I've heard about it. No. Well, Amos Martinez writes in and says, Mac and me is horrible. Honestly, one of the worst pieces of shit that I've ever sat through. Super Mario Brothers was a masterpiece compared to this. <laughs> Uh, Jacob Laws writes in and says, I saw this movie as a kid and I loved it. I haven't seen it since I was like five or six. Always got it confused with Flight of the Navigator. And I never realized it's one of the worst movie ripoffs of all time. Mm. I know a lot of people like Flight of the Navigator and I don't do, don't get it. No, I don't get I don't it. either. You know, who, what mm-hmm. do you didn't? Somebody brought that Brent, on this I damn show. Brent brought it. I had Brent. to watch oh, fucking You had Flight to watch it? Na- yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Brent brought it, and we roasted him mercilessly <laughs> on that show. Yeah. It was See, great. at least I know I know this movie's not good. Like, you know, at least I'm not bringing this to you guys being like, I love this movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he was in the middle of that, and we were just like, fuck you! It was a nostalgia kick uh, again. Like, yeah. Rookie mistake, I- man. Rookie mistake. Uh, Nick Hammond says, Mac and me was a go-to for me when I was younger. I hadn't seen it until Mystery Science Theater took it on last year, and I have to wonder why I enjoyed it so much. By the way, if you haven't seen their roast of this movie, you need to. It's the funniest episode since they came on to Netflix. I agree. It's I, a great episode. I haven't watched that one yet. I, I might have to it's watch fucking that. awesome. Yeah. It is it, it is their funniest one. Is it? Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I've watched it a couple times. It's because really I was thinking good. I was thinking I was like, what? I don't I don't know watched if it. I can sit through this again, but maybe it's if... completely different to watch a movie that's done by a mystery science student versus true. watching it on its own. That's true. completely different. That's you true. Love especially this movie. especially the new love it. the new series of Mystery Science Theater is wall to wall jokes. There's no time in between. Yeah. So it's like it's not you're not even really watching the movie, you're more just listening to their that's, jokes. That's so. one of the reasons mm-hmm. I I've never I don't know if I can do it. 
I don't know if I could do it. I'm still on the fence about the Mystery Science Theater. I, I I'm missing out, man. I, I love Mystery I love Science. It. it is I'll, like my I'll ultimate comfort it. blanket. I'll give it another try. Hangover yeah. choice. Yeah. It's, I love it. Man, New Year's Day, I spent all day watching the new season. I didn't watch any of it yet, and I was like mm-hmm. in bed and watched that all day long, and I was like, I feel better. <laughs> 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 and then I was like, damn, how do I get a job doing this? You know? We do it you, every we week. Have it. You have the yeah, job. job. No one's paying. Oh, no one's paying oh, us. Listen, job. if you'd like to finance the Saturday Night Freak <laughs> Show podcast, uh, McDonald's or Coke, if you want to sponsor us, feel free. Yeah, we'll we're, we're big fans. We love your products. We do. Well, Jason yeah, Madsack writes in. He's also the keeper of the wall. Oh, and when she said ah, uh, yes. George Buck Flower, mm-hmm. who appears Buck Flower. as a police officer in uh, Mac and Me. Mm-hmm. He does. And he has also been on, uh, we had him on Village of the Damned. He was in yeah. They Live. He was in. Uh, He's a carpenter regular, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But I thought he was in something Well, else. that puts him on the wall there. He's we didn't do the Sorority wall. Babes and the Slime Ball Bolarama, did we? Well, that's at least nope. three. He's been in oh, all the, the Back to the Future movies. He's the oh, bomb. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the which, bomb. Which, yeah. which we did all of. Yeah. Well, Jason <laughs> says, this movie gave me nightmares as a kid. I always thought the Martian family was outside my window at night. The oh, creep creepy. factor still holds up. That yeah, would be saying, awful. Yeah, if you just woke up and saw one of these fucking things walking towards you. Their silhouette is really disturbing. Like, yeah. yeah. And the really, yeah. Everything uh, is. Travis Michael says he remembers a lot of unnecessary break dancing in the parking lot of a McDonald's <laughs> from what he remembers. Mm. Ryan Larson says he saw it in a theater and there was a McDonald's next door. So you can all guess where he went afterwards. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, w- I would have done the same. <laughs> I don't think they ever Olive actually Garden. showed any McDonald's food in this. Nah, though. just the atmosphere. They yeah. never showed like, any of the food. And just True. a lot of cups. Yep. Uh, Adam Acid writes in and says this is Paul Rudd's favorite movie. Yes. Norman Myers says it has the best action scene with a wheelchair that's ever been caught on that's film. True. That's true. It's so true. That is true. That's how they should sell this there movie. There is great wheelchair action. In this movie. <laughs> there is. That one scene, I'm telling you, the whole movie comes live. Foxy Vixens. <laughs> Writes in and says, "This movie is so hard to watch. The aliens are so weird." Yeah, they're mm. they're hard to look at. Mm-hmm. Nathan Smith says, "If you accept it for what it is, it's enjoyable." No means to be seen. Mm. We'll get to it in wrap we'll up. Like yeah. so. Wow, that okay. And Jacob Cotner writes in and says, "Ah, Mac and me, true magic." <laughs> <laughs> about our movie Coca Cola Va- Magic, yes. Yeah. Uh, about our movie Valentine, which we covered last week. Mark Harrison writes in and says, So, uh, no mention on how the deaths were related to the girls' responses in the beginning of the film. One girl said, Yuck to the invitation of the dance. She ended up falling in a garbage bin. Another huh. girl says she'd rather be boiled alive, and she is, ends up electrocuted in a hot tub, et cetera, et cetera. Did you say that was Mark Harrison? Mark Harrison. Uh, write a thesis on Valentine. You seem pretty good at it. The, uh, you grasped more from that movie than I did, so. I know. Yeah. We saw it. We didn't catch. No, I didn't I, absorb any of it. Yeah, no. no. That, the editing nothing. in rhythms in that first thing, it was just thrown at you. Nothing yeah. stuck. Nothing stuck. No. Uh, that's yeah. an IMDb. Um, we that's also have to no. say that we uh, made an error, a factual error. It was uh, Kristen, Kristen Dunst, we said, was in The Crow uh, oh, yeah. thing. Three, she was Crow Three Salvation, but David Boreanaz and Tara Reed were in the Crow Four Wicked Prayer. Yeah, that's ah, right. y- yes, so yes, I that. definitely know sure. the difference. Could differentiate that. Sure, uh, we'll watch both of them to make thank up you, for it. Thank you, David Boreanaz fans. <laughs> that's right. C.J. Posner writes in and says, uh, "I saw Valentine in the theater and hated it. Then it's nice to know that my instincts back then were accurate. Good job, two thousand and one me." Good I mean, job, old you. Y- you look at the internet though with this uh the shout factory release that is out right now and people are love it. loving it. Love it. The amount of people on the internet that are freaking out over that Blu-ray. Love it. Is people love un- it. I can't comprehend it. On the Shout Factory website? No, on Instagram. Just, on just like Instagram, on their personal Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Over. People like, are love it. Love yeah. it, love it, love it. I've seen glad it in my it. news feed so much lately. So happy that I have this Blu-ray. So glad that Shout Factory did this. S- someone, love, love, love. You poor <laughs> yeah. fucking early 2000s kids didn't actually have real slasher movies. You had fucking Valentine. Mm-hmm. You had Urban Legend. Mm-hmm. I know what you did last summer. Mm-hmm. And I'll grant you scream. So I'm going to yep. grant you. All right. Christian Steele says, I've never seen a character in a movie I wanted to see get killed more than Jason in, oh, Val- yeah, in Valentine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What a creep. Yep. Uh, 
Andrew John writes in, says, my wife and I watched this last night on Valentine's Day. I do still like this movie. You guys were caught up on the Dorothy in costume at the end. Boreanaz just puts her in the costume and then awkwardly shoves her at Marley Shelton when she opens the door, then shoots her before she can say anything. Dorothy never killed anyone. It was always Boreanaz. That was just his way to frame her. Gotcha. You absorbed more of that movie than I did. Again, I don't buy it. I'm saying here, I reject that thesis. You're you probably think she right. She was actively. Look, she had that like, she had that like outburst at the end, and it just doesn't. Yeah. it doesn't make sense. She had motive. Yeah. She's the only yeah. character with motive. Yeah. Other none than, of, I guess none it, of it yeah. makes sense. It doesn't no, make it doesn't make sense. Ending makes it's no a sense. shitty, shitty awful. Movie. I, yeah, I mean, dude, you could be right. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, but this, it's, it but doesn't make sense. Say, so yeah, I don't but know. that movie doesn't back up your claim, our claim, nobody's claim. Yeah. There's no claim really anybody can make about that movie that is backed up by the actual movie. And it doesn't even matter because, like, even if you got that figure out, there's still so many other things in the movie that yeah. don't add up. It one yeah. adding up one yeah. thing doesn't fix the movie because there's so many problems. Yeah, so, yeah. You can like, yeah, you can make a bold statement about like a section of the movie, and it may fit for that like five minutes of the movie, <laughs> right? But it doesn't fit with the rest of the movie. <laughs> Correct. It's a problem with that movie. Mm-hmm. It is a problem with that movie. That so movie, now that movie is a problem. <laughs> there you go. It's even better. Colin. <laughs> yes, Sean. <laughs> Colin, what did you think about tonight's movie, Mac and Me? I didn't sign up for this, man. <laughs> I mean, Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> used to be like this glorious <laughs> haven of discovering films, you know, of genre films of all types and sorts. I mean, I guess that, that does had apply. some merit it, to discuss. Yeah, something. Uh, this was uh, hellacious. I don't know. At some point, like kids movies do absolutely nothing for me. They didn't do anything for me when I was the age to actually appreciate them. I always wanted to see like, you know, R rated <laughs> movies or the, or they didn't have like, the PG 13. Frankenstein. Then. Yeah. Something monsters. I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. Sci-fi, all that stuff. But like kid friendly, like, Oh, there's an alien who comes down and makes friends with a little boy. Like, I, I still feel that way today. Watching Mac and Me, the only thing that really, like, I mean, it was a snooze fest. I uh, I was struggling to pay attention to what was happening uh, until the breakdancing, uh, aforementioned yeah. breakdancing in the McDonald's. That's it. Followed by the amazing chase scene. So there's about 10 minutes in this movie that I would recommend. Would I recommend the entire movie to you so that you can see this 10 minutes? You bet I would. Uh, Mac and Me is a terrible, awful, horrible movie with some just ridiculous special effects effects that you have to see to believe but probably the best way to do it i haven't seen it is through uh the mystery science theater version that you guys are talking about Mm -hmm. i wouldn't recommend anybody suffer through it the way that i did but you have to see these uh these few scenes the explosion's great they blow up that you know it's amazing they just the logic boggles the mind the it's an immigrant story, right? They come from another planet. They come to America. <laughs> an unfortunately and America relevant them. immigrant story. Yeah. yeah. America welcomes yeah. them with open arms and they become nah, like, not right away. Not right away, but eventually. And yeah, after so years, after, after years in the court system, after yeah. they proved their worth. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's so much what can love you do for us. Yeah. But spreading the love around. I'm telling you, it's a joy. No, the they movie were, is, it's they a joy. They were, they were going to die until they found out, oh, you can heal people? Okay, you're citizens <laughs> it's just now. It's a misunderstanding. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Am I, in all seriousness, I'm never going to watch this again. I'm not going to own it. I don't really. But is there merit to it? It's the, just to see, I guess, how frightening the alien creatures are. Somebody thought these things would be lovable, cute, adorable things when they're actually like these hideous monsters uh and you know that 10 minute break dancing slash um, uh, wheelchair chase and just to be befuddled by the rest of the movie it's uh, something else so yeah maybe i would recommend it i'm gonna hate myself for this morning <laughs> i'm uh i'm shocked yeah, no. yeah me too so absolutely shocked because you me it it was like Cal- so, Sean like you turned right so hard <laughs> yeah. there, like mid sentence. Like, you like, turned. I hate it. Would I recommend it? Yes, yes I, I would. would. Yes, I would. Like, it was such a hard <laughs> turn that I was shocked. You're right. That, that happened. Okay, I changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> no, no, you can't. You can't. You can't, no, no, you can't do no, it. Can't do it. How you feel? I just, no, it just, I'm just shocked. Yeah, I don't ever want to see anything like this again. But if you could watch those, like, like a montage of those, like five scenes that are insane, would you watch that? 
I would. I think you need the context to make them what they are. I don't think the context matters that much with this oh, yeah, movie. And the kid going <laughs> off the fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no. what I'm saying. If you could watch that, see, the kid going off the cliff, the McDonald's breakdance scene, the teddy bear scene when he first comes out, you know, the explosion at the end, and them getting sworn in The kid together. going on the wheelchair, like up... The, or no, she's on the... Uh, She's hooked to the vacuum, vacuum cleaner, cleaner going up the wall. And yeah, like she's possessed. See the, the track. Yeah, yeah. you can see the, the track in the set. It's yeah. amazing. It's so, it's like half incompetent, half competent. Half great. Yeah, half it's, miraculous that they did it. Yeah. They were it's clearly so shooting outside of like what they could accomplish. So yeah. I guess maybe that, in that spirit, I appreciate it. It's like that you got as close as you did, which is still like a good mile away from, right. uh, you know, the film that they were trying to make. But whatever. Sean, what do you think <laughs> of Mac and me? There's something about these aliens that I don't, when I look at them, it makes me I don't know if it gives me a headache or it just it makes me uncomfortable mm-hmm. or it's just. It's like it makes me feel like I have a stomach ache or something. Like yeah. I don't I really yeah. don't like looking at these aliens. It's <laughs> it's a real big problem for me. Like I don't ever want to look at them again. Yes. <sighs> and that's a big problem with this movie. Are they covered with barnacles? Is that what you say? I don't know. It's like liver spots. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, it's yeah like liver they're spots. Grown. They're like not goiters. They've got like it, it looks like they had devil horns and sawed them off. Like, uh, yeah. it, looks like a bubble. Just, it looks like they got a, hit a lot. And they're yeah. just like bloody egg. Sore. Like, like, yeah, yeah it's just it's like something that's about to pustules. Their faces and they're pustules, just pustules. That's a good yeah. word. They're bulging they're cheeks and their asshole mouths. Like I don't, I can't, I never want to look at them again. <laughs> I know. I really don't. I know. It's really it. I it really does make me feel kind of sick. I, I don't yeah. know. Um. Yeah, there's some insane moments in this movie, and like, yeah, just no. Why? Stop that. <laughs> we just we get a, the box a silhouette of him, and that's so about as much as I can take. Back. I can't. I, I mean, like Colin said, I'll never watch this again. I don't ever want to watch this again. I don't. I don't. I don't want to see clips from it. I don't. Maybe there's something to be said about like the few insane moments there is, but. Oh, is it enough to watch the movie? Ah, no, no. Oh, it, it this movie makes me feel uncomfortable, and I cannot, in good, in any good way, recommend that you watch it. Um, maybe if you're a fan of Mystery Science Theater, sure, you go do what you want. But I had a, a sickening reaction to this movie, and I can never watch it again. I would not recommend it to you. You know. Real quick, there's a movie I've never seen, but for some reason I thought about it during this movie, mm-hmm. and that's Troll. Anybody seen Troll? I have not no, seen No, I've never seen it. Okay. Either. All no. right. Never mind then. No. But okay. it seemed like you got a family that has like a little, okay. Similar little concept. Like that's the worst version, maybe. Okay. I hear that's one of like the worst. Well, Troll 2 is Troll 2, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Sorry. I just keep seeing that fucking dad alien walking through oh, the God. desert. Oh, God. He's awful. I feel... I was more bothered by him in the grocery store because he was yeah, fully lit. Them. So just, I was like, yeah. Yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. feel good. Holly. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't recommend it. Uh, no. It's Sean coming down with the flu. I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, no, I, yeah, I totally to understand what you're saying because I feel the same way. There is something so unnerving about looking at these things. It makes you just feel gross. And it, they're just this. It's this whole movie is just like feel this. like I had a bad day. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's the full quote. <laughs> Mac and me, the it movie that makes you feel, feel like, like you had a, had a bad, bad day. It, no, that's it. It is. It's just like this. It doesn't feel like we watched a movie. It feels like we watched this like entity, this this thing that's just there. No one wants to look at it, but it's there, and you have to stare at it, and it just won't end. I, I can't. It's it's so uncomfortable. It's so incredibly uncomfortable. I've I think the the Mac the main the the baby one. I think he looks like a cross between the baby dinosaur from Dinosaurs and Dobby from Harry Potter. That's a good. Yeah, that's, good that's what he looks like. Yep, it's a good cross with an asshole mouth. Other with things, an asshole uh, mouth. <laughs> with an asshole mouth. Other things I don't like to look at. Yeah. No, I don't want to look at any of those things. And you put them together and made a movie out of it, and just it was awful. It was so. So horrible. Would I recommend it? Kind of. 
I kind of want to recommend it. I get it. I get it. I feel like you should experience this movie. (laughs) I feel like you should see that this thing, this this thing exists. And I should find your rock bottom. You know, really should (laughs) because, like I said, this doesn't feel like we watched a movie. It feels like we watched this like weird time in history. This like phenomenon. I don't understand what I watched, but you might understand it. And I don't know. I just I feel like you should experience it. I get you just should. You just should. Michaela. Yeah, so I've seen it multiple times. So I obviously think you should see it because it's like I feel like looking at the cover and just hearing what the movie's about, hearing it's an E.T. ripoff, you, you think you know what it's about. But then when you actually watch it and you see the kid going off the cliff in the wheelchair and the McDonald's <laughs> break dance scene, like like those are nothing to do with E.T. Like that's those are things that like they felt they needed to to be in this movie for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really wish I could just watch like a like a clip of all those amazing scenes put back to back like that. I would say definitely watch it, but you can totally second screen it. Like like I said, I've watched this hung over a bunch. Like I've watched the, the Mystery Science Theater one hung over a lot and it's like, you know when to look up. You know what I'm saying? Like you can definitely second screen it. You can definitely have it on the background. You might sit down for a little bit after they go to McDonald's and sit for like 10 minutes and watch that. But it's, it's an experience. There's no movie like like this i mean et is like it but the insanity in this movie and yeah. the just like it's bonkers i feel like normal people would be blown away yeah like they would oh yeah understand <laughs> yeah to yeah I, like it. Like, I don't think it has that same effect on us considering mm-hmm. the the shit we've seen and all that stuff but i think normal people would be like I feel fucking I, mind blown. Like, yeah. Okay. So we're too. we're all pretty well versed in bad movies. So you ever, you guys ever have someone come up to you and be like, "Oh, have you seen the room?" And we're all like, "Yeah, we're yeah, pretty well versed." We've seen the room. We're pretty well versed in the room, right? We've seen the room. This would be like that to them too. Like this would blow their mind the same way the room did. You right. Know? Yeah. Like, so I I think that the, like if you like the room and you like the absurdness and like it, discovering things like that, this is the next logical step. I think. It, I mean, like I said, second screen it because like the first third of the movie, like. The wheelchair down the cliff is awesome, but like everything before that and shortly after that isn't really important, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, like I said, you'll know when to look up. Yeah, but you'll yeah, hear I, it in the music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'll tell you. I haven't seen the mystery are. science version, but that's the one you should probably watch. Yeah, it's yeah. it's. <laughs> It'll cover over the boring spot. Yeah. It will. Yeah. It's real. Especially because the new series, the pace of jokes is a lot quicker than the old series. They really pack them in during that dull time. It's 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 really good it's they've done a lot of different types of movies so whenever they get a movie that's more mainstream like this i'm always like well what could they possibly say that like another podcast hasn't already said but th- it's pretty good it's it's really good so i i would recommend it just because it's it's a fucking spectacle you gotta you gotta see at least once so and now she owns the blu-ray so yeah i do i'll let you guys borrow it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't all don't all line up at once. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that wraps. You don't up want to the... show your kid this, Sean? No. no. <laughs> yeah, you don't. do. Give him no. nightmare yeah. scar yeah. for life. I literally feel. Yeah. Ill. What if your kid would love wrong. it? Your kid might love it though. <sighs> I don't want him to love it. I don't want him to like. I'm not going to be responsible for <laughs> putting and planting his love of this movie. Let, for like putting that in you his head. You don't want him to no. be the next Paul Rudd. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean he could be the next Paul Rudd. I just don't want him to. Damon like, Lindelof love loves something this else. movie too. Yeah, but it's all ironic love, not mm-hmm. yeah. true heartfelt love. No, yeah. not at all. No, no, no. I can't even. It's impossible it to truly love this movie. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, I wonder. There's probably somebody out there. No. Write to us if that's no. you. It's that nostalgia. You true magic. Yeah. I heard. Okay, so that wraps up Mac and me. Thank you for listening. Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin. Colin, what are we watching next week? Well, we're still in February. Oh. That means it's Black History Month. Oh, no. <laughs> so okay. we're going to watch... I, I just... Please yeah, should, no, it's not as... <laughs> We watched Dolomite. No, I on mean this like uh, Rudy Ray Moore. Please yeah. tell me it's a Rudy Ray Moore. Movie. No, we're gonna go with uh, Dracula's Soul Brother. We're gonna watch Black. Black Dracula. Dracula. Yes. So, yes. So, yes. Down with this. That's uh, if you guys. You guys have seen. I've it? seen yeah. Dracula. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Seen? Black okay. Yeah. No, I have not seen Dracula. All right, next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show, and until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>